Hey everybody, Fabrizio Cross here. I'm here with my daughter Madeline and we're going to go over some of the features of the Electrum and I'm going to teach her how to ride it. So what do you think? You ready? Yep. Okay. Now, we should say that Madeline has had a little bit of experience riding the Electrum, so this is mostly for you, the watcher, to have an idea of how the Electrum works. So, first of all, Madeline, let's get you to climb on and let's check the sizing. We'll probably need to move the seat. Getting on to the Electrum is super easy. Climb on, so let's put your feet up on the pedals. So we definitely need to move the seat forward a couple of inches. Okay, hop off. Let's leave that up for now, just so I can reach. Adjusting the seat is fairly straightforward, and on the production models, it'll be more so. Okay, and we're going to want to come forward Good couple of inches here. There we go. Okay, Madeline, hop on, let's try that. That good? Look, well, it looks like we could come a little bit further forward, but let's go ahead. Right. So, going over some of the features of the Electrum. Your steering is here, and it's a remote steer, meaning that when you turn the handlebars back here, you're turning the, the wheel up there. You have your console here. This is the Cycle Analyst V3. This tells you everything about the state of charge of the bike, your kilometers gone, how many more kilometers you've got to go. Uh, as well, you can use the Cycle Analyst V3 to change your settings to give yourself more or less speed so that you can be in compliance with local regulations. You, of course, have rear view mirrors. The front fairing will protect your legs and feet from the rain, so you only need to wear a jacket in bad weather. What do you think about that? It's pretty nice. Yeah. You might not have to wear white frame pants on a bike. And how, um, how's the position? Is it comfortable? Okay. Can you see over the fairing? Yeah. Okay. So, of course, we've got rear view mirrors. Now, let's go over your hand controls. On this side, don't hit it because we the bike is on. On this side, we have a throttle and your rear brake. So that's on the right-hand side, just like a bicycle. You've got your rear brake on the right, your front brake on the left. Then on this side, we have a bell for polite encounters. We have the switches for your turn signals. And as well, there is a horn for slightly less polite encounters uh, when you're in traffic. Give the horn a try. I don't like that. No, it's, I, I don't use the horn very much. The Electrum does have regenerative braking. So when you first squeeze the brake lever just a little bit, it activates the regenerative braking and turns the motor into a generator, slowing you down while putting power back into the battery. Hop off, let's have a look at some of the other features. Of course, getting on and off is super easy. We have the rear hatch with 120 liters of cargo space. Here's your helmet. And as well, the hatch pops off so we can carry a passenger. Climb on there while I hold on to the bike. Let's have a look. How's that feel? Pretty comfortable. Not too bad? Yeah. There's now, of course, of there is a lot of leg room. Now, of course, you have to plan ahead when you're carrying a passenger and you need to leave the hatch behind. I have found that that's not very difficult to do because I usually know when I'm going to be picking somebody up or dropping them off. Oh, you stay in there. Now, one of the things I really like about carrying a passenger on the Electrum is that the passenger has an unobstructed view of the road ahead. As you can see, Madeline can see easily over my head. And what's also neat is that we're so close together that we can talk easily. Can you hear me back there? Yeah. Loud and clear? Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. And how's the view? Can you see okay? Yep. Okay. So let's climb you out of there and teach you how to ride this thing. The hatch goes back on quite easily. Found this really cool pin hinge. That, eh? Pretty quick. Hook up the retainer strap. 
The draw catches are lockable. Okay, get my helmet out of the way. So Madeline, you've got your helmet on, you're ready to go. So go ahead and climb on. Okay, so I've got to tell you a couple of really key things about the Electrum and how the controls work. Okay. When you squeeze the brake levers, the throttle is deactivated, meaning it doesn't do anything. This is so that when you're slowing down, you can't accidentally give it throttle. So right. for a lot of people, when they're first starting out, they give it a little bit of throttle, and then they get freaked out and they hit the brakes, and then they give it throttle because they want to move again, and they don't move because the brakes are still active and they fall over. Okay. So it's important that you just remember, you have to fully release the brakes, fully to, release the brakes to go, and if you're on a hill like this, the easiest way to do that is release the back brake, which is on this side, use the throttle to give yourself a bit of power. But release the front brake off? Nope, no, so keep the front brake okay. on. Turn the throttle, and of course it won't go anywhere because brake is still on. Now release the front brake, and the throttle will happen. Now, it is a proportional throttle, so you won't get full power right away. It slowly ramps up. Right. So, twist the throttle all the way, and now release the brake, and we'll see how much power that you get. It slowly comes up, and now release that throttle a little bit, there you go. How does it feel? When you stop, you just put down the kickstand and push back with your legs. Now, if you're on a really steep downhill, of course, the kickstand wouldn't be able to hold it. But there is a, yeah, it's better to park facing uphill. But it does also have a parking brake, so you can lock in place. What do you think about doing a, doing a roll off the center stand? Well, I'll try it. Is it fun to strike you throttle or should I? Throttle and no brakes, because it's the balance that keeps you going. All right. So give it a shot. There you go. Try picking up your speed a little bit. See how fast you can corner at what speeds. A little more comfortable. Okay, that was great. Now, just so you have an idea of what's possible on the Electrum, mm -hmm. let me pass you the camera and I'll get you to film me while I do some faster, more advanced maneuvers. All right. You can turn really tight corners and continue the pedal. One of the things I really like about the Electrum. 